This is the Little Marvel Adder. It was built by L.J. Leishman out of Ogden, Utah around 1917. It wasn't his first invention. He built these little adding devices that he sold to high schoolers in the 19-teens. He made those when he was a high schooler himself. He had about 20 inventions to his name. Here he is using one of them with Boris Karloff. He was one of the first people responsible for sending a telegraph image in 1919, although you won't find that on the Wikipedia page. It's all sort of laid out in his biography, The Forgotten Genius. It was written by his daughter, though, so it's not really academic. There's a lot of daddy this and daddy that. I mean, listen to the, some of the last lines of this book. I even want to see those who took advantage of him, of his trusting nature, bow down. I want his poetry. Oh yeah, he also wrote poetry. Anyway, back to the little Marvel adder. It was invented in 1917. I think Leishman's company merely assembled them. The parts were built by the Whitehead and Hogue Company out of New Jersey. They were made from celluloid. There were at least four versions. This was the first version. The dollar adding machine. It had no carry, no accumulator windows. You just have to look at the number at the three o'clock position on the wheels. Not super helpful. I think this was the next version, a little step up. It had those little leaf springs that would click as soon as they hit that notch that let you know that it was time for a carry. Final version had a simple carry indicator that let you know, know when it was time for a manual carry. This one had a British money version, you know, for British money. Mine doesn't call it the British Adder, there's no name on it at all, but uh, here's how it works. The user took a pointer, you just had to make sure it was small enough and sharp enough to go through the two holes. The stylus, with mixed results, would fall through the back hole to let you know when to stop. And uh, if I decide I want to add 1 to 99, that little arrow will move that lever up and show us a red square that says it's time for a carry. So you do the carry, and it pushes the lever back down to mostly cover up the red spot. Oh, here's another carry. And now, if I flip the uh, device on the back, you can see there's the answer, 100. And that's it. There's no subtraction. To reset the device, you would just spin them counterclockwise until the notch is uh, stopped by the lever. I'll show that again, because that is one of the best parts of this deal. We'll get that go right back into the notch. What a marvel. It uh, says patent pending on it, but I couldn't find a patent for it. He does have a patent for an adding machine with a proper carry that, again, could only add, but I don't think that that was actually made. None of Leishman's inventions had, a, had much success. I mean, have you ever used the Arcoscope? That fact really irked his daughter. Here's the last line of the book. How dare they forget. Thanks for watching.